coming. Moving like an old man. Feeling like an old man. My brain is really mad at me right now, so. He has a migraine. That's why I have a one eye a little bit more closed than the other. Actually couldn't see in it today for a little while. You look inquisitive. I look like I lost something and I'm still trying to remember where I put it. Yeah. Hi buddy. No, I didn't lose you. I didn't lose you. You're impossible to lose. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Vlogs. So before we get into the main video that you're about to see, we wanted to answer some of our super thanks questions that we actually got about a week and a half ago. We're so sorry that we're late on this, but when you watch the video we're about to show you, you'll understand why we haven't been able to. So yes, these are late and any ones that we don't mention right now, we'll mention in the next video. So we're just trying to catch up on these super thanks questions. So. We're gonna get started. We have them all written down here. The first question comes from Hannah Irving and she asked, when you have lack of inspiration and motivation, what methods do you use to get back on track with everything? So usually if I'm trying to get more inspiration for videos, I actually read a lot of your comments and look through your DMs and stuff to see what sort of topics that you guys wanna see me talking about on my videos. So I get inspiration from you guys, which is really, really nice. So that and the inspiration that. monster that we keep in the basement that we squeeze for its essence. Yes. We need its motivation powers. We need we both do. things. That and discipline, in all honesty. <laughs> That's the thing. Everyone always asks, how do you stay inspired to do things? And a lot of it is actually discipline. Inspiration is just that. There was like a comic I saw a long time ago. It's just that little thing that flicks the switch and discipline is what carries you through it. You just gotta keep doing it, even when it's hard. Next, we have a question from Nikki Bang. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing your last name correctly. I'm not good at pronouncing things. So the question is, are you two going to try different paranormal games in the future? For example, the closet game, hide and seek alone, the midnight game, etc. cetera. Um, maybe, I mean, we're always open to doing really weird, creepy stuff. As long as they don't like involve rituals or like summoning like super evil things. We've done that before and well, that didn't end well. Yeah. They just like messed up the pantry and all that stuff. They ate all our food. Yeah, we gotta be careful <laughs> about that. We're always open to doing creepy games. You guys know us on this channel. We do everything. So yes, probably we will. <laughs> Next, we have a question from Lauren Woodley. What is your and Ty's favorite horror movie? I feel like that's so hard for me to pick because I love so many horror movies, but... It's hard for me to pick because I don't like a lot of horror movies. <laughs> I mean, for some reason, the first one that came to mind is The Blair Witch Project because that was like a movie that was so shocking to the world when it first came out and it was one of the first like found footage movies that became really See, popular. I watched that movie and just saw a bunch of like college teens and whatever just screaming at each other and getting really annoyed that they can't sleep. So uh, I have different feelings on that. So what's your For favorite? For me, in all honesty, when we did our horror movie binge, I think it was probably the REC movie. Yeah, wreck. There was a lot of really good Spanish movies. Yeah. Not I quite enjoyed. That the platform was a good one. Platform is but really good. But that was good. more of a thriller. Yeah. But that was good stuff. And then we got a really sweet message from V Films. So thank you so much. We read that and it was just really, really sweet. So all of you guys are so awesome for sending these and we're so grateful for your support. And for anyone else who has sent a super thanks question or is going to, we will get to those very soon, I promise. So thank you guys so much. And now we're gonna proceed with the main part of the video. Enjoy. Apologies, mom. The camera is right next to your noggin. <laughs> We're looking at landscapes, those beautiful Alberta landscapes. And we got the Alberta window treatment going on as well. So we're in the car, we're with dad, we're with mom. Jesse's here too. We didn't properly intro it yet. Ah, we don't need to. <laughs> Welcome back to Vlogs. We're in Alberta. Yeah, we just kind of showed up. <laughs> and we're looking at mountains. It was raining back there, but now we're getting some clearer skies. We can see all the pretty mountains. It's like Lord of the Rings. It's a little more highway. That's my kind of sign. Yeah. <laughs> oh, go on, Jess. Okay, this is for all the people who are like my age and older. I am TV and welcome to my crib. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves a fancy pants crow out there. Sitting around like he owns the place, Jess. Do you want to go pet him? No. Come on, they might be friendly. Could be a pet. Could be someone's pet. Totally won't peck your eye out. I think they know we're watching them, Jess. Is this how we vlog, Jess? <laughs> Is it really far? Well, I can just do this. 
Hello guys, here's a proper introduction to vlogs. and before anybody says anything, yes, I know that's a magpie. I know that. It's not just a crow having like a really stylish day today. So, we are officially in Alberta. We spent the first night here. We went to a restaurant just down the road called The Blake, which was absolutely fantastic. And I had a goth burger. We'll put a picture of it. Very goth burger. Brings yeah. us back to high school days. It was really good. So, we had ourselves a little bit of an interesting way on the way here. The flight was great. You know, it was a lot uh, smoother than the last flight that we've taken. But we got here, met my parents at the airport. It was great. Took a little while for the carousel to spit out Jesse's luggage. And then it took a little bit longer for mine to not show up. An hour and a half later. We waited and waited, looked on the screen above the carousel. Suddenly our flight disappeared because it meant that they were fully offloaded. And guess whose luggage didn't show up? There's a reason why I'm still dressed like this. <laughs> It's not because I really, really like the sweater, because I do. I really do. It's out of necessity, unfortunately, because I have no clothes. They lost his luggage. And all your makeup. And all my makeup, so I had to go to the drugstore and get some emergency makeup. That's what I did today. Yes, so uh, we're hoping that we will get an email or something to let us know that it will be getting delivered to this area here, because uh, we're only here for one more day. He's gonna get stinky. Thanks, I appreciate that. <laughs> but we might be going out for breakfast. We might not. We're gonna figure it out. We're kind of flying. We may not eat. Hands. We're not yeah, sure. Yeah, we don't need to eat. We can just filter <laughs> feed off the air. But we are going to Lake Louise today. And another lake? No. Moraine Lake, if we can. Moraine yeah. Lake, if it's open, because apparently there's avalanche warnings uh, in the spring. Is that what it was? Flooding? They have to close it for the winter completely because of the snow. And usually it opens June 1st, but we think it opened on Ty's birthday on the 6th. Hey. Just for Ty's birthday. They did just, just for, for time. Even though I wasn't here. Yes. But yes, we will catch up with you guys once we get there. I think we need to get you a purse like that, Jess. I just look at it, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> in our hoods with our umbrellas because it's raining and it's freezing but the views are so nice it's everyone's all, all warm down from the mountains. it's odd to think that it's June right now what's in their rain jackets I've got my green it's crazy it's worth it though these views are so worth it you see that Jess what I think I can jump that I think I can jump it jump to the other side yeah I think I could do it good running start I could do that could you swim it though probably not I can't swim I'm saving my life <laughs> What is he doing right now? He's sneaking into people's pictures. <laughs> He's sneaking into group photos. That's what my dad does. What is he doing? Jess, do you see this? Yes. <laughs> he sneaks into the people's photos. We're currently passing by the Fairmont, which is apparently very haunted. So you might see a ghost in the window. Sure, it's just not my own reflection because I am pretty pasty. No, there's so many ghosts it in there. It could be that because I do like to run around in there quite a fair bit, you know. <laughs> Spare time. So uh, you and I had a little bit of a headbutting contest. Yes. Quite literally, I accidentally smacked my head into your head. And you have a hard head. I do. If it's any consolation, you did hit the soft part of my head. My head is vibrating. I'm sorry. Hopefully we do not need to go to the hospital. No, I don't think we do. Okay, <laughs> hopefully not. Let's see how we're walking. Did you read the legend? I did not read the legend. It's a lot of words. Let's say I met the merman. Did we really meet the merman though? Did we have a great conversation with him? He's really creepy. Like he has like hair and claws. And teeth too. It's a little terrifying actually. And they have little postcards. <laughs> they bring them around? He looks so real. Well, well, it, well it is. It definitely is. They just found him in the water. Maybe. How did they get there though? That's the real question. I don't know. Maybe there's more. Jess, what if I told you out of all of these, one of them is actually still moving. Still moving? Yeah. Which one do you think it is? It could be the badger be over there. It's gonna, it's gonna be that one, sniffing. See, I'm thinking it's the goose over there, because that's something a goose would do. Stand perfectly still, and then it'll just come bite you. update on Ty's luggage. So I basically got an email when I made like 
the report for it. And they said, if you want updates, click on this link. So I go on it. No, I'm still on hold. I'm currently on hold with them right now. I go on it. It says they can't find my bag. You know, this is getting a little weird. I go and I check the guest details. They're searching on the wrong flight. They put the wrong number in. They are looking for a flight that came in from Ottawa, not Toronto, that came in a day sooner. So we're not going to be staying in this condo for much longer. And they have this address down as the one they're going to deliver it to. So I need to get all that stuff changed and also make sure they change it to the right flight. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna find out how long we're on hold for. Could be a while. We're, we're already on 15 minutes. Let's see how it goes. It's been frustrating. Yeah. But look at your new shirt. Yeah, we have to go buy some new clothes. I was pointing to the colorful one, but that one's a nice shirt too. It's That's a very his nice shirt. dinner shirt. Went to a very nice store and the gentleman set me up with a full outfit, so we're good to go. He thought we were going to a wedding. Yeah, he thought we were going to a wedding. And originally there was a nice black plaid shirt that I think Jesse really liked, and I chose that one. We're opposites and that's okay. There's black in it. There's black in it, but there's also lots of colors. But it's great, it's polka dots and floral. <laughs> this is Ty's dinner outfit. This is how you do a runway walk. You're gonna need some music. Well, there's obviously music on the vlog, kiddo. Just not right now. But it's gotta or be I'm like... Gonna it, I'm just gonna leave it really quiet. Fashion music. <sighs> I feel like we're disturbing this guy a little bit. Oh, God. I mean, if the, if the traffic doesn't disturb them, we would... Yeah. That one right there, stand and watch. Oh, yeah, they're everywhere, Jess. Absolutely okay. everywhere. There's bunnies somewhere. Like, bunnies hopping around everywhere. Yeah, there's apparently a rabbit problem in Canmore. Somebody let out a bunch of domestic bunnies, and now there's thousands. You can show a picture of one. Yes. They're very cute, though. They are. But... The reason why we're taking this uh, gas station uh, tourist stop right now is because it's finally clear enough to see the mountains. And also it's insane to see a price that low currently right now in this environment. <laughs> yeah. I feel like they're all very mad about something. I'm just not sure what yet. As you can see, I'm still wearing the same clothes. <laughs> No update as to the luggage. We did get it switched over, so they are looking on the right flight now, but still nothing. We're not gonna let uh, some sneaky clothes keep us from all the fun today. Albeit, we did wash these, so it's, it's actually quite nice. <laughs> So today we are on our way to Jasper, but we are going to be making some stops along the way. We are going to, I believe, the Ice Fields Parkway. And I think we also might be looking for an Emerald Lake. I don't think so. <laughs> A little, a little off the track. That's in BC. That's Never for mind. next time. That's, That's for next time. Hato but Lake. yeah, Hato Lake. Okay, everything has so many names, so many lakes. <laughs> but everything's been very, very awesome so far. We're just traveling along the highway now, and we took a little bit of footage of something that's really cool because out here they have wildlife crossings above the highways to prevent animals from getting, unfortunately, smooshed on the way across. So they built very natural kind of arches over top of the highways, covered in trees and stones and all that stuff. Apparently before they uh, had tunnels, and my mom was informing us that unfortunately uh, some uh, clever wolves used it for hunting, so uh, they had to do the overarching ones. Waiting in the tunnels for all the deers. Yeah, they were, unfortunately. So I think the deers and also the people that are driving are very happy about that. We'll keep you updated and uh, we will be at the destination soon, I hope. For you guys, it's like three seconds, but for us, it's... <laughs> so it did a while. It's a little months. drive. <laughs> There's a bear crossing. There is. We did a little mess up. We are accidentally in British Columbia. <laughs> it's normal stuff that happens. Yeah. We made a wrong turn. So. There we go. We're good. We're back Welcome now. Welcome to Melbourne. It wasn't that far. Apparently we've been here before. <laughs> that guy's just chilling, Jess. Chilling above the ridiculously long and very far drop down. Ooh. My feet are tingling. How do you feel about this? Tingling. I don't feel good about this. Well, at all. obviously, this isn't Pato Lake. We no. tried finding it and we got lost. We got lost. So uh, we found another lake now instead. Now we're here and I'm going to throw up. But we have pictures <laughs> of another lake that we found, so hopefully that suffices. You look like a little Canadian wizard. <laughs> it's warm, though. That's good. We're gonna go 
go see a glacier right now. We're going to see the Athabasca Glacier, which is all the way up there. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty cold. We're gonna see how much cardio we've actually been doing. It's heavy breathing time. Because we made it. And that's the glacier. And the group of people standing on top of it. This is crazy though. I gotta say, I don't think we're walking there though. Yeah, we're done. The only issue is, is now we gotta get all the way back down there. You could swim that? Yeah. Yeah? I think I could too. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty easy, I think. That's like easy. That's novice stuff right there. It's always times like this when you have like you have your hands over the ledge. Can I drop it? That you're always scared that you're just gonna drop it. Yes. Come here. Look at this. It's a coffee sleeve. You could swim that too, couldn't you? I could, yes. Yeah. 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 It's Quite totally talented. Fun. It's fine. Yeah. Come on, Jess. Time for the squeeze. Squeeze. Ready? Time for the squeeze. Wowzers. Hey, guys. We were in one of the shops and they had these things called alien babies, and they're like these really weird, misshapen like stones, I well, guess the, it is. The actual name for it is, hopefully I'm pronouncing it right, is a Chalcedony nodule. But they call them alien babies because of how like weird looking they are, but they're so cool. So Beth actually found this, my mother-in-law, and she got it for us to show you guys because alien babies, that's what we have now. It We've looks like he has a little one. head. Yeah, it's so My weird question looking. is, is what are we gonna name it? Yeah, you guys need to comment down below. I think we need to name it Steve because I have a theory because we know so many people named Steve that it's actually an invasion taking place. <gasps> this is another Steve to add to All their the ranks. All the aliens are named I'm Steve. I'm on to you, Steve. <laughs> and other Steve. And it's, another Steve. It's so cute. So yeah, that's our alien baby. I hope you enjoy. Oh, you're supposed to go no. in a row. You're not allowed to go diagonally? I don't know how to play. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go right, to you. It doesn't matter. You go like this. So, yeah. okay, okay. we are currently playing yeah. golf right now. Yes, that's a really good card. Yes, okay. and uh, okay. yeah, we're gonna see that's how we do. So good unless you have two more, and then it's great. I'm uh, very confused. Just gonna we're just, gonna try this. This is worth 10 points. <laughs> I'm not gonna card game. I have 14. Just saying, I got minus one. You got minus one? And you so actually won? With me one. trying to sabotage you, <laughs> I messed myself. <laughs> so how do you like the training round? Was, you scored only two points. Yeah. Which is outstanding. Which yes. is really good. Yeah. I got uh, 12 with this hand. What'd you get again, Mom? I forget. Okay. <laughs> Does she well, though? I think it was worse I than 12. I did say it. I think 14. 14 maybe? Yeah. Maybe. Well. <laughs> maybe Mom was worse. It's numbers. <laughs> I don't remember numbers. Well, time to play for real. Let's I'm see scared. who wins after a few rounds. Don't be scared. I get it like 80%. <laughs> So uh, Jess was doing pretty well at the start, but it kind of fell apart a little bit. I didn't come in last. That was my goal. <laughs> you succeeded, but yeah. uh, we have a champ there. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling pretty good about yourself. He's a champion. That he is. That was fun. How do you feel about playing cards? I came I in second. There you go. You did. I did. Yes. All right, guys. So it is the next day. We're on day three or four now. What is it, Jess? What is math? Day 
four. Day four. So we are finishing our tour of the mountainous areas, Jasper and Banff and Canmore and all that stuff. We're just getting ready to pack up and head back to my parents' house so you guys will get to see all the crazy animals that they still have because last time Jesse and I were there, uh, we weren't vlogging yet. Or at least she still had the vlog channel, but we weren't vlogging on a regular schedule. One parting little thing here. Kind of noticed something a little odd in our bathroom and we just want your guys' opinion on this. Going to see some Jesse Jesse feet. But if you look underneath, you can see little tiny black lines. Everywhere. Everywhere. All of which about the same size. I saw this yesterday and I thought, oh no, maybe Jesse's mascara brush just exploded. But then I felt them. It goes into the floor. It goes into the floor. These are little divots and grooves. And they're all the same size. All the same size. So, uh... I don't want to be morbid at all, but I really, really hope somebody wasn't uh, repetitively, repeatedly injured with a sharp implement of some kind. I really hope not. I hope nobody died in here, but then maybe there's ghosts. Maybe there is. Or maybe the floor was just really angry and tried to get somebody and they defended themselves. <laughs> I don't know, but it's, it's, it's a little sketchy. It's a little spooky. I'm doing my makeup on it. Yes, so. But yeah. So we had a really, really fun time coming up and seeing all the beautiful lakes, mountains, and exploring the scenery. So you will see us next once we get back to my parents' house. So yeah, we'll see you guys then, and we hope you have yourself a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next vlog. See you guys.